Hi everyone, I'm here today with this week's weekly reading wrap up and it was a better week than last week. It's not quite as good as I'd hoped but we're getting there. So I finished one book this week and it was a fantastic book. I loved it. I gave it four stars and that book was The Rosie Project by Graham Simsian and I started this book back in September. Yeah, September. And I put it down because I started reading Night Film in October, so I put this down for that. And then I kept picking up other books and so this one got neglected for a little bit. So I, this has been on the go for far too long and I'm so pleased to finally have it finished. I will say that it was actually really easy to pick this book up despite not reading it for several months. I could remember everything that had happened, it wasn't an issue, it wasn't a fact of if I had read this all in a space of a couple of days I'd have given it five stars because I still wouldn't have given it five stars. So. Definitely a solid four star read. In case you're not aware, this book follows a man named Don and it becomes immediately clear that Don is autistic. So that doesn't always get covered quite so well but that's another topic for later on. Anyway, we follow Don as he is looking for his perfect partner and so he has created a questionnaire which is basically part of the wife project. And to even go on a date with someone they have to match all this different criteria and it's not really achievable criteria. The perfect woman according to this questionnaire is probably like one in a million at best. And so we follow Don as he tries to find his perfect one and in the process he bumps into someone called Rosie who someone at work has set him up with. Rosie does not match anything on the questionnaire really. Practically everything that's possible for her to not be is indeed how she is. And so they make a sort of unlikely couple in the sense of they go on a date because this friend set them up and it's obviously not working and he gets quite annoyed when he realises that this friend has set him up with someone who doesn't match anything on the wife project at all. Either way they hit it off in a more friendly kind of way and Don then helps Rosie in some things. And this is then the story of their sort of journey together as they teach each other things. And I just, I at times didn't know how to react to this book because at times I was like sat there wanting to laugh and at the same time I thought no I can't laugh. It's really bad you can't laugh at someone with an illness. And so this, this book left me so conflicted. In some ways I thought that it handled the topic of like autism really well and then in other ways I was getting really annoyed by it and I kept thinking how has this book not got slated more for its representation? I just, I don't know what to think about this at all. Some of the situations that Don gets put in, you just, you wouldn't wish that on your worst, your worst enemy. You wouldn't bully them in such a way. And yet his so-called friend, Jean, just, yeah, don't like how he treats Don at all at times. And I found that quite problematic. But then on the other hand, this did sort of raise a few more sort of light-hearted moments and it obviously was meant to be a more light-hearted read and in that way it did achieve that and it was enjoyable as I said and despite my putting it down for several months it is actually quite a page turner if you sit down and just actually read it you could probably easily want to read it in one sitting because it just sort of flies by it's nice easy reading for the most part so yeah I just felt really conflicted by this. If you've read this book and you also didn't really know what to think about the representation of autism, then please drop me a comment down below. I would love to know what you think because I've not seen many other people moan about that. I've read through a few reviews and I've seen the odd person bring it up, but for the most part, people just seem to love this book and don't seem to have picked up on that at all. And I just, I feel like I'm splitting hairs over something where I wouldn't normally be the person to be splitting hairs. I don't know, I'm hitting myself on the head with this book. <laughs> I should probably stop. So yeah. Overall I did enjoy it. As I said, I do own the second book in this series which is The Rosie Effect and I plan to pick this up soon. I don't know whether I'm picking it up this week because I want to get night film sorted. But I might go straight into this, we'll see. I'll definitely be picking this up sometime in the next couple of weeks otherwise though and this one's a lot chunkier. I think this has got like an extra hundred pages on my other one but never mind. I've, as I said in the past I've heard slightly bad things about this one but I'll see where it goes. So, that is the only book I finished this week, but 
I've listened to significantly more of my audiobook. I'm currently like 68-69% through that, I think, if I remember correctly. And that was, of course, The Girl in the Spiderweb by Stieg Larsson. And whoever was doing that with him, I can't remember. I'll put the cover there. I've also made significant progress in my current Kindle book, which find a sister by Beth Underdown. I'm really enjoying it. I'm just finding that I'm really tired a lot at night, so I'm not able to read much in bed. But I have made progress. I'm at 30% on that one, enjoying it. It's a very different book to the stuff I'd normally pick up, but I'm enjoying it for that. And then yesterday, I just wanted a quick sort of light read just to help move me along since my bedtime reading is a bit more heavy and dark. And so I started reading Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life by James Patterson. And I've never read anything by this author before. It's just something I happened to pick up on a whim on NetGalley. I am, how far through am I? I'm 70% through, so I'll probably be finishing that any time now. And I'm really enjoying that as well, although it it's definitely one of those tricky ones where I don't feel like all adults would enjoy it. It's definitely aimed more towards children. It is a children's book. But I'm actually really enjoying it because I can understand how I would have liked it as a child, if that makes any sense. I, I think it's great. I also want to try and read very quickly again just as something a bit light to help counteract my bedroom bedtime reading and that is the magic faraway tree which i was meant to be reading a couple of weeks ago for the time hopathon i want to still read that we read that for the however many time so that will definitely be happening this week as well so yeah a, a mixed week reading wise i mean at least i got something finished finally so there is that let me know what you have read recently down below if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe by clipping that in clipping subscribe by clicking that image of me just there if you want to see more videos and other bookish content by me and i will see you tomorrow with a book review bye bye